Yo, what's going on guys? Shake and bake back, baby. Excited today because we are about to finish the third to last set to try and get that pink diamond Charles Barkley. As you guys know, there was brand new beast packs that came out on last Tuesday. And man, this set looked impossible, but we did a pack opening and it was insane yesterday, man. If you didn't see it, be sure to check that video out. And all we needed now was Clyde Drexler and we can check the market. He's pretty pricey, but we actually just bid it on one, and uh, hopefully no one will outbid us here with, uh, uh, like, literally less than a minute left. Like, by the time we get to it, it might be, like, 10 seconds or something. But, um, it looks like it's gonna hold, I think, because, uh, it might have already finished. But you guys can see 275 was that one right there, and the one in my auctions is, uh, alright, it looks like it fell through. Nice, man, let's go! No one outbid me, so 272, I think, was the final price I paid for him. That person was paying 275, and that one still had time left, so... Not too bad, definitely not. And that is the last card to get that Larry Bird Diamond Team USA card. So all we gotta do now is add this bad boy to the collection. I probably won't use this card. I mean, I'll try him over the other Clyde Drexler. But like, honestly, the difference in the cards is really not much. It really isn't. I guess, I mean, if he didn't do that set, then it's pretty cool. But here you go. All you have to do is lock it in. Boom! An expensive set, man. Honestly, I'm not sure how much this one cost. It probably cost me technically less than a million. But obviously, actually, no, it cost more. It definitely did. Now that I'm thinking about it, because I spent about 500k for Akeem, 272 right there for Drexler, and then the Chris Webber I spent like almost 220, I think, on. George Garvin was about 80, and the Towns was like 150. So I did spend over a million, but uh, not that bad, man. Especially because like with this one, I had to spend over a million too. So I imagine these last uh, few sets, whenever they come out, will cost. About a million MTs worth, if not two to three. But uh, yeah, you guys can see Larry Bird, 95 overall. All we have to do is come to our reward queue, and yeah, we'll open them up. Uh, we gotta find it. I've got a lot of lead packs still that I just don't want to open. Those packs are kind of crappy, but Team USA, Diamond Larry Bird, man. Love that glow. It looks dope, man. Let's flip this bad boy, man. I am excited. Definitely am. And right there, boom. There is Larry Bird. We are now two Two cards away from getting the pink diamond Barkley. Two Team USA ones, and it's going to be pretty hard. I thought Larry Bird was actually going to be tougher than Malone, but now because they put Malone second to last, I have a feeling that one's going to be really tougher than this set, and this one was really hard to do. Like, honestly, I didn't think I'd get it done, but uh, we somehow did, man. I mean, I'm saying it's really hard, but then again, really was it? I don't know. We got kind of lucky. I'll say that. We definitely got lucky with this one. We come over to our collections. We go over to our rewards, and boom. You can see the Dream Team set is almost complete, man. We really only need two cards left for the Barkley. That is crazy good, and not a lot of people will have. Not a lot of people have what you're looking at right here. I am definitely one of the few, and there is this Diamond Larry Bird. It comes with 16 gold badges, 5 Hall of Fame, 4 silver that we got to max out. That's not too bad. 99, obviously, and uh, yeah, he's nice and tall, which he should be. That's Larry Bird. He comes with Corner Specialist, Mid-Range Deadeye, Deep-Range Deadeye, Catch and Shoot, and Pick and Popper. Wow, if he, had, if he had Hall of Fame Limitless Range, this might have been one of the best cards of the game. He has every shooting badge except for that one, man. Ah, but he does have Tyrus. I kind of wish he had Tyrus score, too. He doesn't have digital shots, so he doesn't have actually all of them. But he's got most of them. He's got, out of the, uh, what is it, out of the uh, seven, he's got five of them. That's not bad. Or out of the eight, he's got five of them. Pretty nice, man. And then, yeah, we got to badge him out a couple times. But Beastly card definitely will be nice to use. I want to check out his shot in just a second here. And I'm hoping it's better than the Amethyst version, because that one was terrible, but let's check out his stats, I actually have yet to see them, I have no clue what they are, post fadeaway 98, I like seeing that, because that's one thing that uh, I'd be rocking with Larry Bird, man, I'd be shooting tons of post fades, because I usually can't get the timing of his shots down, but 90 for the hook, got good post control, mid range 95, everything off the dribble, 95, everything, and then his three balls, you guys can see, 95, 95, and 92. That's really beast. So, yeah, it definitely is. And you can put a three-point shoe on him to make it even better, too, which I love. Definitely love. Good free throw at 92. In fact, that's a little lower than I thought it would be. I thought it would be a little bit higher, but that's still good enough. Ball control, 88. Nasty. Then he's also got good passing, as you guys would know. I mean, Larry Bird was a great passer. And then rebounding, 88 and 90. That he should also be pretty damn good defensively, as you guys can see. He's got an 80 block, really good shot contest, 85 steal. Does he have a stat below? I was going to say 75. He does. He contact dunk and driving dunk and those guys. But besides that, man, and I guess his speed, which isn't the craziest, 75. But uh, again, he's got a lot of stats in the upper 90s and 80s. But Beastly, obviously this section, not the best. He is not the most athletic player. But man, he is definitely one of the best shooters of all time. 
Let's uh, batch him out really quickly. And then let's take him in a shoot round and see what he's looking like, man. I have no clue what to put on him for badges, but we added one man fast break. And I'm sure we can add a couple more, as you guys saw. So pretty sweet how he can have a ton of bad slots on him. But let's, uh, yeah, let's check out this card in shoot around, man. We gotta see what this card is looking like. Here is the Larry Bird, you guys can see. This is a short-haired version, and his shot is still pretty dang slow. Ah, I hate that. He does have amazing hot spots, but his shot is so strange in 2K. Why is it like that? I mean, I don't know. It definitely isn't as bad as the Amethyst. It seems a little bit faster, but it's still pretty weird and pretty slow looking. Ah! But still, looks like a beastly card, man. Obviously, I'll, I'll just have to work in the post and I guess the mid-range. But, like, yeah, I won't be shooting. Oh, wow, that's a deep hook shot. <laughs> he can hit something like that. But, yeah, I don't know, man. Especially with the shooting tweak that they just did to the game. Where, like, you gotta basically be hitting green lights or else you're gonna miss the shots. I don't know if this is gonna be a great card. I don't know. It might, it might not. We will see. But uh, the fadeaway, he definitely should have a nice fadeaway. As you guys will check that out right there. Green light. Yeah, that will be nasty. He'll be able to come in the post and definitely body guys with that, but definitely won't be the best, I don't know, shooter for my opinion. Maybe we'll like it once we get online though, because obviously the delay and things like that, but uh, right now it does not seem too crazy. I don't know. It definitely doesn't, but uh, we, it'll look cool on the Team USA. That's my thing. I'm just, I just want to use the, all the Team USA players together. I think that's going to be really cool, like just having the full Team USA score. If he can shoot like even 50%, I'll be pretty happy, but we shall see. I mean, he was knocking down a couple right there, but I don't know if he's got that kind of range. Does he got that kind of range? I don't think so. He's honestly a little bit better at shooting off the dribble. It's a little bit quicker as you guys just might have seen there. Like, it's not as slow. So I might have to just shoot everything with him. Kind of like he's a, uh, I think, a playmaker or whatever, where you, you, you gotta be fading to hit your shots. So I might want to shoot all his shots off the dribble. That may be the move. But, uh, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy just a quick video. If y'all want to see some Larry Bird gameplay, let me know down in the comments section. But, yeah, this card is, uh, it's looking pretty sweet, not gonna lie. It could be better, I'm sure. His shot could be a little bit quicker. But, hey, we'll have to make do with it. But, uh, yeah, there, I don't think a lot of people really have this card. So I'm sure y'all want to see him and y'all want to check him out. But I still don't think, unless you're going for Barkley, this card's probably not worth it. Like, locking in that set that has so much value, man. I don't know. Sounds kind of crazy to me. But, yeah. I hope you guys did enjoy, and of course, be sure to leave a like on this video. Check out that pack opening yesterday if you missed it, man. I thought it was really funny. We talked basketball and just did a whole bunch of stuff, and yeah, hopefully you guys have been enjoying the videos on the channel, and uh, yeah, you guys are excited that we are getting closer on this grind for Barkley, man. It is such a grind. It really is. Larry Bird, the fadeaway. Send us home. Oh my goodness. We can't. We can't end it on that. We got to at least hit a green or something. No, no, no. We need to green a shot before... Whoa. His pass was way off. We got green something. Come on, man. <laughs> I think I put ankle breaker on him, or maybe I, 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 no, I put it on Julius Irving. Thank goodness I didn't put it on him. He got a nice little step back. I will say that because he has that good 88 ball control, his step back is really quick. Look at that, man. It's so fast. Oh my goodness. That's one thing that I'll say is nasty about him. His step back is so quick. You could just step back and then definitely could speed boost out of that. So I'm sure people who like to do that definitely would like this card, but. He's got a really quick step back. Oh, my goodness. If we could get someone falling and leaning like that and then falling into the shot, that would be nasty. But I hope you guys did enjoy. And, uh, yeah, peace out, man.